I got married very young and um, I actually did not go back to school until after I had two children and I was thinking, well, what am I going to do? And this seemed to be a, a, a career that fitted with having a young family. So I went back to school with two young children and got my degrees and never looked back. The little boy's now in year five, but when he was in year three, one day he looked at me and he said, Mrs. Rennie, you are like God. And I said, why would you say that? And he said, because you know, God sees everything and you know everything that goes on in this school. I said, okay, and he says, and you know, God wants us to make right choices and you want us to make right choices. And he says, the other thing is, God gets mad when we make wrong choices and you get mad when we make wrong choices. He says, but you know, the thing about you and God, you still love us. And that really, in essence, you know, just, From a very young age, I knew that I wanted to go into education. My mom was a teacher. I enjoyed helping other teachers out as a child in the summer. So I pursued that dream and ended up in the Cayman Islands, taught in the BRAC, and then worked in the Ministry of Education and Early Childhood. Um, my ultimate dream once moving to the BRAC was to be the principal of Weston Primary School. So I'm living the dream right now. Becoming a principal gave me the opportunity to work with the students, help them achieve their goals, close learning gaps, but also empower teachers to feel confident that what they're doing matters and that they're able to do the job. It is a rewarding job, but the rewards are not monetary. The rewards are not necessarily with acclamation. Um, the rewards come in the small steps. Surround yourself with teachers who are passionate about seeing children succeed so that you have a network of problem solvers that will support you along the way. Fasten your seatbelt and enjoy the ride. My parents had 15 of us. I'm number seven, so there's so many younger ones around me. So I was responsible for helping with homework. So I was always a teacher. I love education, I love seeing minds change, I love debates, a good debate, I love substance. You just can't drop something on me, you gotta defend it. I'm not gonna let you go until it's over, until we've exhausted the subject. Because I want them to know that if you're going to be a great educator, you have to have knowledge. Knowledge is power. I think it's great because it's a golden apple that can't have worms in it. It's fabulous. I love it for that reason. And because, you know, it's a prize, it's an award, it's an honor. And to do it for educators, I think it's fantastic. Because we're most of the time not really given our kudos in what we can do and what we do. Because we touch every profession. There is not one I can think of that an educator has not touched.